So he gets stuff right posture. Uh, yeah, I didn't really point out that right here, <clears throat> if my butt's on the ground like this and he gets here like this, he's going to be able to keep my hips down. It's going to be a problem for me. He's not carrying any weight right now. On his hips, he can stand up, he can do whatever he wants. If if my hips are up on him, now it's it's a little different, right? He's you feel more trapped, right? Because my weight is on his hips a little bit. So I get here, I'm gonna come under, I pull, bring my knees forward, get here. Like I said, you could grab the collar, you could get like a nogi. Usually I just do like this. Okay. Hold. I need to keep my legs tight here. So when I open my closed bar, I need to keep my legs tight to them. I'm just going to turn this foot toward me. When I do, it allows me to kind of get on my side. And now I can climb. From here, what we're going to do, I'm going to put my foot on his hip over here. Okay. So <clears throat> I have posture broken. I have a tight overhook. This elbow has to be close to my body and I'm pulling on his arm. Because I don't want him pulling his arm out. It's hard anyway if I have his head down. If his head comes up, he can pull his arm out fairly easy. <clears throat> so here, like this, I put my left foot on the hip. I mean my right foot on the hip. My left foot is going to come to my knee. Here. So I just do like that. Now, I've, I've put him in a position where I can use my legs here. I can start to control that far arm with it. I can keep his posture broken down. Obviously, in like striking, he can't hit me here. Okay. So if this leg, once I get here, if this leg, if I just drop it down, see, I had to keep that leg. If this arm's a little too close to me, I'll use this leg to move it, and then I just feed my other leg there. Okay, and now once I get here, now I've got him separate. He can't get back up, because I just stretched his arm over there. Now the overhook comes out, I slide to his wrist. I could go, you know, right into a Kimura would be a good attack option from here. <clears throat> Domo plot is pretty easy from here as well, but um, grab like this, so I'm under, and I just keep that forearm tied up, and then if I just pull his elbow this way, and then start to turn toward him, it's gonna rotate his shoulder. But he's trapped, like, trying to move here, Woody. It's, it's really bad. Not for me. <laughs> so look, so you get to the overhook. You climbed your legs a little bit. Your far leg, <clears throat> you're gonna put it on it on the hip. The heel post on the hip. I keep his posture broken. I keep the overhook. This leg comes here. Then once I come here, <clears throat> if this arm's far out, then I can just hook it immediately. If not, I'll use this leg to stretch it a little bit. Now, <clears throat> since his arms are stretched out like a crucifix, I can release my overhook, slide down to the wrist, and then I've got the camera. Okay? So getting to this position is the, the deal. So, <clears throat> so when you're here, this, makes it hard for him to move around. He has to post this arm on the ground and try to posture up. He has to. So when he posts that arm, now I can move it. I use my foot. And then now he's stuck. He can't he can't roll, he can't really do anything, you know, from here. Like I said in a fight it's like he's in a really bad shape. I can punch him. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead. 